Uh, I am not a stage virgin. I am not a virgin in any sense of the word. Uh, but it's great to be here. It's nice. I, uh, I gotta tell you, I, um, I don't know that much about men, all right? I don't know that much, uh, so I consulted a self-help book. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called Men Love Bitches. <laughs> so when a man asked me to make him a sandwich, I told him to go fuck himself. I think they should have called the book Men Love Bitches Getting Fired from Subway. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> I know a lot of people say uh, their body is a temple. Mine's really more like a Scientology center. No one in their right mind would enter it. Aw, oh, no, no, no. I know a lot of girls go for that hourglass figure. I'm really going for more of a grandfather clock. <laughs> Ding, that's the sound I make. Dong, that's what I don't get any of. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, I, um, I know this, if a sexy black man on the street cat calls me, he tells me I'm beautiful. I don't need to consult a mirror to see how I look. Yeah. There we go. I know I look fat. <laughs> they say once you go black, you never go back. To what? Good credit, right? <laughs> to having to endure overtly racist jokes. Sorry, that was. Um, um, yeah. Forget it. We made a mistake. I made a mistake. Uh, what was I? What was I gonna say? Oh my God. I um. I uh. I uh, I'm not. I'm actually not a racist. Um, I like people who see the world. No, I like people who see the world with open eyes, right? And fortunately, that excludes Asians and Christians. <laughs> That's a shame. Uh, I um, speaking of other other cultures, I uh, it's kind of personal. I, I thought about getting a Brazilian the other day, but instead, I got a Minnesotan. That's where they pluck every hair out individually, and then after each one, they go sorry. <laughs> Yeah, no, I love, I love living in Minnesota because it's such an exciting place, you know? Because we have a lot of lakes um, and diabetes. <laughs> yeah. The people are so nice. Like, even if they disagree, they try to relate, you know? Like, it's okay to be a Jew or a Muslim as long as you accept Jesus Christ as your personal yeah. savior. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm Jewish and you're right. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I actually, speaking of Jesus, um, <laughs> if someone asked me, you know, WWJD, I'd say, you mean what would I do if I was the human shish kebab that caused Christian rock? <laughs> <laughs> well, probably everything I could to avoid having to be Jesus, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I, uh, this is, I'm, I'm going to go in, in a sexual direction, uh, just so everyone's on board already. So I have this friend, and she had these really liberal, hippy-dippy parents. She has this theory that the reason she likes being spanked in the bedroom is because she needs the discipline that she never got as a child. Now, I can't really relate to that. No, because I was spanked a lot as a kid. So I just enjoy sitting in a corner and listening to sounds from the ocean. I don't even like sex. I just like patchouli. <laughs> I, um, I'm actually dating a guy right now uh, that I consider a god because the sex is divine yeah. and uh, no one I know believes he exists. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I gotta tell you, I'm always, I'm always sort of attracted to men that are like unreachable, you know? Like alcoholics, um, jailbirds, Hasidic Jews. <laughs> I think it's the beard. When I see him, I just want to be like, oh, you remind me of Moses. You know how God sent him that burning bush? <laughs> Redhead. <laughs> you can part my Red Sea anytime. <laughs> Let my pubic hair grow. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's, she goes, it's all right. We'll allow it. Um, so I just, I, I'll... I don't know how to put it. I have, I do know how to put it. I'll put it right now. I have, um, I have bipolar disorder. And for those of you who don't know, bipolar disorder is like the diabetes of the brain. 
Except for like, instead of a lack of sugar, I have an excess of I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I go nuts. Uh, <laughs> Having, having uh, bipolar disorder, I liken myself to a performance artist and that I do crazy shit that no one pays to see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he was like, yeah. um, a thing, The thing about a mental breakdown um, is that it's hard to be discreet, right? Like you have a heart attack, it's not all over Facebook. You have a manic episode, your new status becomes, I am gravity. <laughs> It's like, either Kathleen's manic or her account's been hacked by Kanye West. <laughs> he is serious, you guys. Yeah. Having, having uh, managed, okay, in the hospital, in group therapy, when you're manic, it's fun. It goes a little, like, it goes a little bit like this. Here's someone else. And then I cut myself just to see the blood drip down my arm like the tears did down my cheek. And then there's you. Everywhere I go, I wish the floor was like that giant piano and big. <laughs> um, I guess to sum it up, it's like, it's like I have a passion. It's like, it, I, that's the only way to explain it. I have a passion for life. I have a passion for life. That is exactly what I said to my shrink, and her response was, Miss O'Brien, you have to put your shirt back on. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, back to the racist stuff. Um, <laughs> Um, I, uh, okay, my dad's a, a lawyer, and sometimes because he's a lawyer, they assume that he's rich. But that is a stereotype, and I hate stereotypes. My dad represents illegal immigrants from Mexico, so he gets paid in landscaping. <laughs> we also had a nanny named Juanita who would braid my hair every night in exchange for a compliment. A compliment. <laughs> a compliment. Sorry, a compliment. Um, they all, they had a really open relationship, and that sh he was never afraid to tell her when the mariachi music on her Walkman was too loud and grating on the ears, and she was never afraid to tell him when his socks were pressed. So, in conclusion, my dad is a lawyer, and he is not rich. He is not rich, but you know what? If a genuine appreciation for another person's culture can make a man rich, well then my dad is a broke-ass racist fuck. <laughs> and that's my time. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.